So, will you be watching the Super Bowl? Or will you be going for Denver Broncos? Or the Seattle Seahawks? <laughs> well, I will be watching. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you which team I'll be rooting for. Either Denver or Seattle. Spirit hands. I just want to say football is not my job. It's something that I enjoy watching. So as far as getting very technical, mm -mm, it's not going to happen. Basically, I'm just going to tell you what I think and how I feel and we go from there. Yes, I do like football. I enjoy it a lot. But I don't get all technical. The 2013-14 year was amazing. It was some very good football. We had some teams that were really starting off strong. We thought Kansas City was going to take it all the way. Well, we had some teams that started off really well. And we had some teams that started off slow. And at the end, they were hot. But they didn't make the playoffs. But I am so happy to see Denver and Seattle as the two teams that made it. Both of these teams have the same record, 13-3. and three. They play some amazing football this year. Now, we all know that if you know football, you know Peyton Manning, you know the Manning family. And with Peyton Manning being the quarterback of the Denver Broncos, they have had a spectacular year. And I'm very happy for Peyton. I am very happy because I was really upset and a little disappointed that Indianapolis let him go and I understood why but he has done so much for their city and then to let him go because of his injury I just thought that was just dead wrong so as far as that I've always rooted for Peyton because I believe that he deserved a second chance and Denver welcomed him and he's found a place, and oh my God, he has really done good this year. I must say so myself. But we have to talk about Seattle. A lot of people have um, looked at Seattle. They have this little short quarterback named Russell Wilson, which he is a cutie. <laughs> uh, he is really a cutie. So I like, I really like Seattle. I like the fact that their coach, what's his name? I get his name. Um, I like it that their coach was from college and he's done well in the NFL and a lot of times coaches have a hard time transitioning into the NFL and I'm very pleased at his success and I, I really like this squad. Yes, yes, Sherman did act a fool. Yes, he did. He act a fool. Yes, he did. He act a fool. But you have to understand at the with that game against San Francisco and Seattle, that playoff game, you are very emotional. And when you're emotional and you're passionate about winning, yeah, you do some things. You might, you know, do some things like, you know, be fired up and pat the guy on the butt or whatever. But that was pure emotional. He shouldn't have done it. He's a professional. He should act like one. But he didn't. And I like to see... Players have heart. Players play the game. I like to see the coaches get into it. I like for the, them to have emotions. Mm, yeah, we know trash talking. Leave it for on the playground or whatever, away from your job. That is true. But this game, games, football is emotional. It is very emotional. A lot of grit. So, I like Russell Wilson. I really do. I think he's a cutie. I think he does a very good job. Um, I don't think he got the recognition that he deserved last year. So this year, I'm glad his second year into the league, I am very happy to see him on the big stage of the Super Bowl. Um, he has a great supporting cast. Um, I think Lynch can run the daggone ball. And I'm telling you, he's a beast when he runs. So I'm excited to see Lynch run. Now, Denver has a good quarterback, has a good running back also. Marino, great. I have to add that Denver's running back Marino and Lynch, their records are, their stats are a lot the same. Lynch had 12 touchdowns, Marino's 10. Lynch, 
1,257 yards. Marino, 1,028 yards. So very close. These players, I feel like I know them. You know, I feel like they run with me all season. So these these running backs have really been very good to me on my fantasy football team. And that's why I'm really, I'm really unsure. You know, if I want to, if I go for the underdog and be Seattle, if I, you know, Peyton, I want to see him win, you know. So it's like Peyton, yes, you know, I go for him. And then I'm like, Seattle, yes, I like them. Young team, you know, as far as new coach, well, he's been in the league for about three years. Just, just, just the team as a dynamics. I like the underdog, you know. I think it's going to be very hard if Peyton gets to throwing the ball, they get that running game going. Seattle's going to be in trouble. But, if that defense of Seattle does what it should do, Sherman really earns his money. Denver's gonna be it's gonna be tough. If that offense line of Denver holds them, I think we're gonna have a really good game. We're gonna have we're gonna have a good game. I think as of yesterday there's a two point spread. I'm not sure what the spread is now, but I think this is gonna be a good game, and I'm excited. I don't like blowouts. I don't want Peyton to get hot, but then, you know, if you want him to win, you want him to get hot, but you want to see a good game because this is the last game of the season, and we have to wait till August. I like for this game to drag on. I like for it to be a close game. I like to be on pins and needles and really enjoy the game, so I'm excited about that. The two best teams going head-to-head, 13-3 and three this season season you expect a good game is it gonna be denver oh yeah look i did peyton manny number let me see i can't get it look ain't that cute that's cute but i couldn't get a three over here but um see yeah my name but anyway i thought that turned out so pretty i'm so proud of that look but um, as far as the game, I will be sitting in front of my TV at 5.30 Central Time. Don't know what station, but uh, Joshua knows. Um, Central Time, enjoying the game, eating, and I'm sure I'll switch channels. I probably won't. This is probably the only time I watch commercials, and that's during Super Bowl. Because, you know, people always seem to talk about them. So, you kind of want to know what's going on. So, yeah. I'll be watching the commercial. Just so I can be able to join in in the conversations and just tell people what I thought of, of the commercials. I should have went into marketing. Yeah, I should have. But, um... This is just my way of talking about football, letting you see what other interests I have, um, and just just sharing, just sharing, because that's what I want to do. So, I haven't told you who I'm rooting for. <sighs> okay, this is so hard. <clears throat> My heart says Denver. My mind says Are you gonna watch the game? If so, tell me who you think is gonna win and what's the score? What are you thinking? I know, it's so hard to go against Denver. Oh, and Peyton Manning? That is very difficult. And I want Peyton Manning to win, I really do. I want to see him get his ring with another team other than Indianapolis. I think he deserves it. So why am I going against him? I 
don't know. I think I'm going to change. Let's flip it. Let's go Denver 28, Seattle 7. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to be watching the game. And whichever team wins, I'm going to be happy. If it's Denver, I'm going to be so happy for Peyton. If it's Seattle, I'm going to be so happy for that organization. I love my nails. I know. I'm silly. This is a lot of work. And I want to redo them. But I'm tired. I'm tired of doing them. Next year, I'll be ready. I'm going to be a professional nail polisher next year. And they're going to be really cute. They're cute now. My football band. Oh, let me show y'all. So y'all can see. My football bands. <laughs> I gotta laugh for myself. Thanks. Thanks for watching and just wanted to enlighten you on other parts of my life. Love football, love sports, and so excited about this game. Just wanted to come on and share my thoughts.